The Danish warship HMDS Absalon is refueling in the Gulf of Aden. The ship is nearing the end of its deployment fighting piracy off the coast of Somalia under NATO's Operation Ocean Shield. For Commander Anders Fries and his crew, the tour has been successful. The Absalon has caught 65 suspected Somali pirates and freed 42 hostages in the last six months. Just days ago, 16 suspects were captured after hijacking this dhow, likely to be used as a mothership. The 12 crew members were freed. It is lovely to see the original crew members from Iran and Pakistan, that they can head home, uh, be joined with their families, and that is a success. Now we will see what will happen with the uh, suspected pirates, if they will be put ashore or they will be prosecuted. But that could be um, another success. The suspected pirates have been detained on board Absalon. The commander must now await instructions from the Danish authorities on what to do with them before he can sail home. The crew's deployment has been extended indefinitely. For Denmark and other NATO nations, bringing pirates to justice is fraught with challenges. The problem that appears is who is going to prosecute? And Denmark does not have any jurisdiction to prosecute the pirates generally speaking. That means we have to approach a country in the region which is able and willing to prosecute the pirates that we apprehend. And that is uh, quite a challenge because no country really has an interest in receiving criminals from another country which have committed a crime, which has no link to the country that receives these pirates. NATO doesn't have the legal authority to detain or prosecute pirates. Some member states have bilateral agreements with Kenya and the Seychelles that allow the transfer of suspected pirates for prosecution. But this is becoming increasingly difficult, as their capacity is limited. The crew on board Absalon can only try to collect as much evidence as possible to make a strong case. The skiff and the engine is some of the equipment that they did not have time to throw overboard before we arrived. The weapons, the AK-47s and the ladders, RPGs, they're all gone because they threw them overboard. But the skiff and the engine were still on deck when the boarding team arrived and boarded the pirate vessel. So that's the reason why we still have it on board here as a proof of their intentions. After several deployments here, the Danish Navy has a lot of experience detecting suspicious activity and collecting evidence. The aircrew regularly fly along the Somali coast to monitor activities at pirate camps. As our uh, primary weapon of uh, intelligence is the camera. So we took some very uh, good photos, close-up photos of uh, every square inch of that ship and just uh, rushed back to the ship and gave over the pictures to the intelligence sections and they started a thorough uh, investigation of the pictures. Just detaining the pirates is a challenge for a warship. Captain Fries shows us the area where the detainees are held, but only while they're on deck getting fresh air. He does not want the media to see or film them to protect their privacy. My crew is not allowed to visit them at all. I have the military police to take care of uh, the detainees. I have, of course, uh, access to them and some of, some of my senior officers but in general, the crew are not allowed to go and uh, watch them. I uh, want them to have the privacy, just like as it was in, uh, in Denmark. The detainees receive three meals a day and are allowed on deck once a day. They're medically examined upon arrival and before disembarking. In March, the last group of 24 detainees had to be set free again in Somalia, as no country was willing to take them and prosecute them. The entire mission is a pirate disruption and uh, to disrupt something is just to, to hinder the, uh, the pirates of, of doing the pirate attacks. The NATO, EU and US-led counter-piracy missions are proving effective. Increased security measures taken by the shipping industry are also helping. Last year the number of hijackings was almost halved while pirate attacks have remained steady at about 130 a year. I'm Mike Mühlberger reporting for the NATO Channel from the Gulf of Aden.